What is authentic marketing? Authentic marketing is at the core, it's not about trying to be relevant to other people. That's not the first focus. Because when you try to be relevant to other people, you you become a chameleon. You know, for example, uh, several people in my audience have said, George, I like it better when you wear white. Well, personally, I don't actually I don't have that many white shirts. I have more blue shirts and different shades of blue. I like different shades of blue. And so I'm not going to try to be relevant to you and wear white because you like it. I like blue. So I'm going to wear blue because I like it and I enjoy it. And I'm going to show up and wear blue. And inevitably, some people who like seeing me wear blue will like it. And there is now an intersection. And that's really where relevance should come in. It's it's not the first thing. It's really the second thing. The first thing I would call inner exploration. Inner exploration is, you know, what is important to me? What is my passion? What story do I want to tell that I think is worth telling in the world? And that is the first step of authentic marketing, right? And then when... I do this, and I, I also call it public journaling. Public journaling. I know some of you journal in private. Well, now I want to challenge you to journal publicly. And by journal, you could be writing or it could be on video like this. And when you journal publicly, here's what happens. You know, you are sharing about your thoughts. You are figuring out your thoughts as you go. You're trying to, you're trying to make meaning of your experiences as you go. And as you make meaning... Of your experiences, it is going to be naturally interesting, that intersection. It's going to be naturally interesting for some people out there. And when it's interesting for some people, you're like, great, I just found a kindred spirit. And that's how you build an authentic community. Not by trying to be relevant to people that you want to be relevant to, because then you're like, oh, please, please look at me and look how interesting I am. Then it's inauthentic. But when you are publicly journaling and, and trying to figure... But you, you, you might say, why would anybody pay attention to my public journaling? Why, why is that interesting to anybody? Here's why. Your ideal clients are one, two, three, or five steps before you on, on, on the journey of transformation in whatever field you work with people on. Okay, if it's healing or if it's spiritual transformation or if it's business growth or if it's career development or if it's relationship uh, uh, intimacy or whatever it is, you're, you are already further along by definition to your ideal clients. You can, you, there's something for you to teach them or to share with them. Okay? You have more experiences or you've thought about it more or you've helped more people. You're further along the journey. So your own explorations are naturally, as you are trying to make meaning of your experiences and, and tell stories of clients you've helped and because you enjoy what happened and you're sharing about it and you are saying what's important and you're saying things that you think might help, you are naturally going to be more interesting to the clients, ideal clients who are one, two, three, or five steps before you on the journey. So that's really what authentic marketing is. It's not about, it's not about, hey, I'm going to be authentic and my authenticity is my my shtick. It's not, it's not, it's not trying to be authentic. You are naturally authentic when you are making meaning of your own experiences publicly. Now that's that's the part. That's the marketing part. The authentic is I am making meaning of my experiences. I am sharing what I think is important, regardless. And and another way of saying it is bless and let go. Bless and let go. I, uh, you are blessing your audience with your courage, with your presence, with your courage, with your willingness to be present and publicly journal, publicly explore your, your experiences. As you can tell, I'm not going on the script here. This is my exploration. Uh, this is my meaning making of my, un, my, of my thoughts. I'm trying to work it out right now publicly in front of you. Of course, I've thought about it longer than you have. So my public figuring it out is more interesting than, than you might do if you're trying to figure out this topic because you haven't thought about it as much as I do. You haven't worked with clients on this area as much as I do, right? So, so bless and let go. You bless people by your courage and your presence of showing up, okay, showing up 
with your public journaling, and then you let go of whatever is relevant to them. You watch. You, you don't try to force the relevance. You watch what's relevant to them. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting that that's relevant to you because that's, in, that's interesting and relevant to me too. That's real and authentic for me too. So now that I know that, I'm going to know that that's of more service to you. And that's what I mean by inner exploration and outer service. The, the, the intersection of those two is authentic marketing. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps you better understand it. And I hope it gives you some courage and some encouragement to go out there and do your public journaling, knowing that your public journaling is naturally going to be interesting for your clients because they're, they're one, two, three, or five steps ahead of before your, where you are at. All right, I hope this helps, and um, thanks for joining me. I see, um, uh, yeah, thanks, Crystal Alchemy, thanks for joining me. All right, be well. See you in the next video.